Thomas and the new engine. The engines on the island of Sodor keep very busy. There are always lots of jobs to do. One morning, the FAC controller came to Tidmouth's sheds. A new engine has arrived on the island, he announced. His name is Neville. You must all make him feel welcome. A happy engine is a useful engine. Later, Thomas was stopped at a signal. The signalman called down to Thomas. The bridge ahead is unsafe. Thomas, you are to collect a piece of ironwork so the bridge can be repaired. Yes, sir, huffed Thomas. At the yards, Harry and Bert were with Neville, the new engine. Neville was a steamy, but he had a square body like a diesel. Neville was backing up towards some trucks. Nearly there, said Harry cheekily. Nearly there, said Bert naughtily. Then there was trouble. Watch where you're going, clumsy wheels, Harry and Bert laughed. Neville looked sad. It's not our fault, you the silly steamy, oiled Bert, and they laughed even harder. Thomas arrived at the yards. He could see Harry and Bert laughing with Neville. That must be the new engine, he thought. He must be friends with the diesels. Thomas arrived at Knapford Station. Have you seen the new engine yet? asked James. Yes, said Thomas, but we'd better be careful. I saw them at the yards with Harry and Bert. They were laughing together. James was shocked, a steamy friendly with diesels. As Thomas left, Percy pulled in. Have you heard about the new engine? snorted James, and he started to tell Percy all about Neville. Then later, Percy met Emily at a red signal. Don't go near Neville, the new engine, he told her. The diesels have told them to biff into steamies. James told me and they all heard it from Thomas. When Thomas arrived at Abbey Station, the fat controller was there. Thomas, you must warn all engines not to cross the bridge until it is repaired, he boomed. Thomas felt proud. It was a very useful job. Just then, he heard a whistle. Someone was coming. Thomas had to warn them. It was Neville pulling Annie and Clarabelle. Thomas was shocked. Annie and Clarabelle were his carriages. Hello, puffed Neville cheerfully. I'm not talking to you, Thomas huffed crossly. Neville didn't know what he had done. Then Emily pulled in next to Neville. Hello, said Neville happily. Emily let out a wish of steam. It's no use trying to make friends with me. I know you're going to biff into all the steamies, just like Harry and Bert told you to. Thomas was surprised, but the station master blew his whistle. And Neville puffed sadly away. Where did you hear that Neville is going to biff into all the steamies? Thomas asked Emily. Don't you know, Emily whistled. Percy told me, James to told Percy, and you told James, huffed Emily. But I only said to James that I'd seen Neville with Harry and Bert. Then, Toby and Edward arrived. Have you heard about Neville, the new engine? He puffed. Henry saw Harry and Bert be horrible to him at the yards. Emily was shocked. Thomas couldn't believe it. Neville wasn't friends with the Diesels after all. Where was Neville going? Emily tooted. Cinders and ashes, cried Thomas. Neville's heading for the broken bridge. I must stop him. Neville was speeding through the countryside as fast as he could. 
Suddenly, Neville saw a barrier on the track. He slammed on his brakes. But it was too late. Neville was in terrible trouble. He was on the broken end of the bridge. Thomas knew it was all his fault. Suddenly, he had an idea. Thomas steamed slowly and carefully onto the bridge. He gently bumped Clarabelle and was coupled up. Thomas was very scared. Slowly and steadily, he began to pull Neville back from the edge. The bridge made a creaking noise. Thomas knew he must hurry. He pulled as hard as he could, and with one big puff, he pulled Neville's wheels off the bridge. Thomas had done it. He had saved Neville and Annie and Clarabelle. Thank you, whistled Neville. I should have warned you, puffed Thomas, but I was too busy believing silly stories. I thought you didn't like steamies, but now I know I was wrong. Thomas gave Neville a long, friendly toot. Neville was very happy. At last he knew he had a good friend in Thomas. Thomas.